Yeah, I, I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Brendan Burns, brilliant comedian. We've both seen him live. Ah, oh, we've we've like watched DVDs. Fantastic. Um, it's part of his um sober not clean show. It's an HMV exclusive. You pick it up. There's a section he does on Grand Theft Auto. Might even be able to find it on YouTube. And it's brilliant, just because he, he says stuff like he spent like two hours kicking a bin, purely <laughs> because he could. Oh, I'm thinking of Saints Row 2 now. That's oh, like... Saints Row 2. I was talking to someone about that today, yeah. actually, because they were saying they didn't like Grand Theft Auto 4. Mm. I said, oh, you should play Saints Row 2, because that's how it should have been. I remember, um, actually, King K from the forums and I, we both have it it's for the PC. Oh, so I... we decided to go online and found out that pretty sloppy... Yeah, it's the only one I mean, like, bad. Um, basically, we both find that the game lags. Like, <laughs> ah, right. So it's another what, case of like games getting ported. I ah, think. Fair enough. Fair enough. And I've noticed something quite devious with RPGs lately. Right. A lot of um, RPGs, like you'll get, they'll get released on Xbox 360 first. And then they'll get released on PS3, but with an upgrade. Yeah. Like, more characters, better yeah. visuals, whatever. It's just... <sighs> it's almost like they're, It's like a demo is released for the Xbox 360, and that's yeah. the games and more films, and then they finish the freaking game. Yeah, it's it's almost like the Xbox 360. It's just, just like a... It's not a real console. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no, that's the other one. <laughs> we don't even get them. That's something I find quite hilarious. Um, you know how Modern Warfare 2 has just come out for like the 360 and the PS3? Yeah. <laughs> Modern Warfare 1 has just come out for the Wii. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. It's, oh. it's, it's just, it just shows how behind and ridiculous. It's not a real console. Well, apparently, <laughs> if this will make you feel any be better, Modern Warfare 1 was the better of the games. Yeah, but it's a Wii port. <laughs> true that, true that. So, yeah. I think um, Call of Duty 1 is probably better than this one. I think the worst port I've ever played was a Warhammer game. Like a video game. Oh, I. And it was um, Fire Warrior, where you were one of the Tau. Yeah. And I was playing it, and literally, like, you couldn't see anything but the enemies. Right, just like because there's so many of them, or cause... no, it was because you couldn't see the level. That was how bad the port was. That's so... pretty poor. <laughs> I, I stumbled through about halfway through the first level before getting immolated by a guy with a flamethrower. Yeah, and that was my experience of Fire Warrior. <laughs> so, how would you rate it out of ten? <laughs> One. One. <laughs> how would you rate um, the graphics on you and the enemies? Hmm? The the graphics for you and the enemies. I don't know. It was. It, it's better than Wolfenstein, but not as good as a game these days. Not a real game. Yeah, it's, not, <laughs> it's not a real game. Games are visual. Oh, God, don't get me started. That's, that's the, to be honest, that was kind of why I bought the Wii, because mm. I thought that games were going too far in the try and look attractive and try and be like a movie. Yeah. Part, I mean, there was an advert that I'm sure it was actually axed. Um, it was for... Oh, it was Uncharted or Uncharted 2. Yeah. And it's basically... Um, um, this guy, and he's complaining um, to the people that made it that his girlfriend thinks it's a movie. Mm. So, like, she keeps wanting them to play it because it, she just thinks uh, <laughs> it's like they're watching a movie together and he can't take it. And I thought that was, it was quite a nice parody of it, actually. But, uh... yeah, it turned out I was wrong. Mm? Like, um, the yeah, fair enough. I, I do appreciate good visuals, but being a Wii owner... We don't have visuals or gameplay. We have gimmicks. Yes, we have faff about. Uh, good. Yeah, but I, I will say one thing. Nintendo may have fucked up the Wii, but the DS... Yeah. Especially like as an old school RPG fan, absolutely fantastic. You've got like Chrono Trigger, you've got the Dragon Quest, they're remaking like Final Fantasy 3, 4, 5, all that kind of thing. Yeah. And... I, to be honest, the fact that... Uh, I don't know, when was it released? I'm not was that sure, a long actually. time ago. I mean, I reckon it might even... Th this is pushing it, but... It might outdo the Game Boy. Mm. I mean, I know that's quite a bold statement, but... 
I think, because it doesn't seem like it's slowing up anytime soon. Yeah, I mean, like, basically, I've found that a lot of the handhelds, they do what, like, um... I mean, like, a PSP can do what a PS2 does. Yeah, that's that's the reason so, I got it, actually. Like, basically, a lot of the gameplay games seem to be coming out for, like, the handheld. Yeah, because think about it, you've got, um, like, Monster Hunter and all that kind yeah, of thing coming like, out for it. And it's, it's perfect for it. Because, like, fair enough, it can't do the really flashy visuals, but from a gameplay point of view... It works fantastic. Yeah. I, the only thing I've got, like, a problem against handhelds is the fact that, like, sure, it's not all about the visuals, but, like, if these games are only coming out on the handhelds, I just feel a bit sad that you can't have the sort of your old classic screen. Yeah, that's something I always find a bit weird when I'm playing my DS in my room. The fact that I'm... It, it feels like you're reading a book almost. Yeah. Just the fact that you've got... Crick in your neck. Yeah, you've got everything else in your room, like... You've got your TV, you've got your games consoles, you've got your PC, all that kind of thing. And here's you sitting in the corner playing this wee thing. It yeah. just seems... I'm amazed someone's not made, like, something that you can, like, connect it to, like, a monitor at least. Yeah. I mean, I know, like, the resolution, it would be horrible, but... Yeah. it's. I suppose that that's something that could be in the future, because um, I know that the DS and the Wii, they can do link-up play. Because, like, one of... It was Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Ring of Fates... I'm sure it was. Just recalling just now, yeah, they've actually the made a bigger version of the DS, so maybe oh, that's what yeah, that's about. Well, it, it, the thing is, it's just a wider screen. Uh, well, it's a bigger screen as opposed to a wider one. But I don't see the point in it. Mm. It's just trying to spend more money at the DS franchise. I suppose so. Because, like, to be honest, if my DS light broke, I might buy a DSi purely for like um, the DSi wear stuff but to be honest I I prefer having the Game Boy Advance slot so I can play my old Game Boy Advance games yeah which I do all the doesn't... time obviously <laughs> <coughs> hey. but yeah um, going back to me saying about the longevity of the DS just the fact that like I don't know if anyone played it there's Scribble Knots came mm, out yeah and it was an interesting concept just the fact that like you could write anything and it would appear in the game yeah I mean, fair enough, a lot of them weren't useful at all, or, like, certain things did the same jobs as other things, so there was no point. But just the fact that they've got that framework now, and they could build on it. Yeah. And they could... I mean, the DS is... Well, Nintendo as a whole, they've tried to do it, because they did Drawn to Life as well. Yeah. Where you could, like, create your own hero, you could make your own platforms, you could, like, do lots of little stupid things, but... Something similar that I've got for the PS2 would be... um what was it graffiti kingdom mm. and yeah like, that game you could basically it was almost draw your own character type yeah thing. Oh, and like oh, actually would... yeah sorry i've just remembered graffiti kingdom yeah. but Ow. like <laughs> horrible horrible yeah terrible, the most terrible terrible like but the concept was there yeah the concept was there and like some folk have actually gone and like gone ahead with it and made some really mental stuff if you look around nice that, I'll that, see if I can get some pictures. No, that's the thing I'm amazed. They've not... I mean, I'm assuming the game mustn't have done well because I've, I've not heard of another one being made. But it's the kind of thing that, like, someone starts the ball roll and someone picks it up. And I'm, I'm amazed no one's come up with more stuff on, like, the the PlayStation and Microsoft side of things. Yeah. I mean, maybe because it is seen as a gimmick at the moment and Nintendo seem to be the gimmick thing. Mm. So, well, that being said, Nintendo have always kind of been pioneers of new technology, because think about it, had the first handheld, like, one of the first wireless controllers, I'm sure. Like, mm. well, we, well, for the GameCube, it was the, I can't remember what the thing was called, but after that, all the consoles, the generation after that, all wireless controllers as standard. Yeah, that's true. Like, Nintendo, they might not be the best gaming company, but they... Very good with ideas. They they set the ball rolling, and other people pick it up and do it better. 